Drew and Heidi, before I finish, I'd like you to turn to face each other. You are now looking into the eyes of the person who is statistically most likely to murder you. In all seriousness though, being married to your best friend is one of the greatest things that you could experience in life. Drew and Heidi, I'm so happy that you found that in each other. They're super chill and easygoing, yet super adventurous. I only wish I had the drive to explore and go on adventures like you guys do. Whether it's hiking, walking through the streets of Montreal, or tenting with four dogs and a cat in tow, Heidi and Drew know how to, make, know how to have fun and make the most out of every moment. To be honest, with so many great memories together, at first I didn't know what I wanted to say this evening. So I thought I'd tell you how me and Drew met and a little something about the type of guy that he is. As time went on, we grew older and our appetite for adventure only grew. We got it in our heads that our ultimate adventure was going to be to hitchhike across Canada. We hitchhiked from Newfoundland all the way to the BC border in 14 days. We met people from all walks of life. We made memories for a lifetime. We even skydived out of a Star Trek te themed town called Vulcan. But a day that really stands out to me was day number three. A day was, that was particularly hard for me, but also a day where Drew really came through. Well, sort. After getting a lift to New Brunswick border from a very large man called Skinny and a very thin man named Porky, we made our way to a beautiful grassy field that we would call our home for the evening. About halfway through setting up our tent, that beautiful grass began to move and we heard an unnaturally loud buzzing noise. Suddenly, thousands of mosquitoes attacked. We frantically rushed to finish up setting up the tent and to claim sanctuary. Of course, that wouldn't have been so bad, except I'm allergic to mosquito bites. Feeling lethargic and slipping into some sort of shock, I said to Drew, I just need to take a bunch of Benadryl, eat some supper, and sleep it off. That's when Drew confessed to me that he left all the food and water in Skinny and Porky's van. <laughs> Needless to say, my spirits were low. After a few minutes of trying to come to terms with the situation, I look over at Drew. And there he is, holding out a half a bottle of water and an instant cheese packet from a box of Kraft Dinner. <laughs> we laughed for probably 10 minutes straight. Happy again, I ate the cheese powder, drank most of the water, and slept for 18 hours straight to fight off my allergic reaction. All the while, Drew waited patiently in the sweltering heat of our tent, watching over me to ensure I was all right. What a guy. Heidi, I guess what I'm trying to say is that even though life throws you curveballs, Drew's the man that you want standing at your side when that happens. And while he'll always be my friend, he's your best friend, now more than ever. Knowing you both, I know you love each other through, it's all, through it all, laugh lots along the way, and be all the better for it. So, in celebration of your journey together and your marriage this evening, I'd ask that everyone raise their glasses to Drew and Heidi and give a toast. Oh my god, you're so oh, pretty! Oh nice. my god, you look so nice. You didn't get your thing. Yeah, I can't. I love it. Oh my god, you look so good. You look freaking fantastic. Holy moly. Yeah, I crown. Oh, that's awesome. She is my best friend and one of the most important people in my life. Over the years, we've shared many memories. We have laughed together, cried together, and we have shot to the drop together. When you become close to someone and you love them with your whole heart, <clears throat> it can be very hard <clears throat> pulling it together <clears throat> to not be fiercely protective of them. You see where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> so long comes Drew. 
funny guy who thinks he can just waltz on into Heidi's life and win her heart over with his fancy dance moves and romantic gestures. But could this guy be really worthy of my sister? Yeah, I was kind of skeptical. For years, I kept an eye on him like a hawk, <laughs> just waiting for any little sign of a red flag that I might have to intervene as the big sister. But it didn't take long to learn that Drew was not only good enough for her, but that he is just as amazing as her. He worships her, he would do absolutely anything to see her smile, and he loves her even when she's hangry. A good marriage must be built on the foundation of commitment. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is never going to bed angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. I'm not great with words. Sometimes I struggle to find the right things to say, especially in anxious situations like this. But when I look at you today, my heart is at peace. You are everything to me. You have my heart and you are my home. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you or for our family. You've helped me grow in ways I can't even express and I've become a far better person because of it. Uh, I promise to be right here for you always, come what may. I know that together we'll be able to weather any storm. Uh, no matter how far you float, I will keep you anchored. And no matter how far I fall, I know you'll always be there to catch me. I'll be there to tuck you in at night, and I'll be there when you open your eyes every morning. I promise to get rid of all the bugs, non-violently of course, and I'll always fix your smile button on days where it seems like it's out of order. You are my bear, and I love you with everything that I am. You are my past, my present, my future, and I can't wait to see what's next. I promise to always do my best for you and to be here whenever you need a, head, uh, a place to rest your head. I love you always. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made promises. We've all had promises made to us. Some get broken and some don't. Over the last 10 years, I got to watch some of my fears get put to bed as I've witnessed promises being kept. Promises to support me, <laughs> to show up for me, to love me when I'm less than lovable. Promises to make me laugh, to help me grow, and promises to never let me take life too seriously. Those promises were all kept. Over the last 10 years, you've proven yourself time and time again. You are kind, you're gentle, you're passionate, you're wonderfully weird, and you have the best sense of humor. You're reliable, respectful, patient, and forgiving. You have the best smile, the bluest <laughs> eyes, and you are the best dog and cat dad to all our munchkins. Life is millions of moments one after another, and I vow to be present in each of them with you. I promise to be there to motivate you and to support you to achieve all that I know that you're capable of, and I promise to be kind, comforting, and compassionate at the end of all of your hard days. I promise to stay silly, <laughs> never stop adventuring with you, and I promise to be forgiving and to say I'm sorry. And finally, I promise to love you fiercely even when things are difficult, comfortable, complacent, and time-worn. Today and all days, I'm yours. By the authority vested in me by the Marriage Act, I pronounce you, Drew and Heidi, to be husband and wife. You may now kiss.